we've finished another month and it's time to do another six-figure trucker video and talk about the compensation through April 2021. Let's talk about it coming up. As always, we're going to start with the first week of the period, which is 2021-14. Let's take a close look at one trip on this payroll period. We're going to look at trip number 1108978, which was from Greer, South Carolina to Fort Recovery, Ohio. This was a hazmat load, so it paid $0.04 cents extra per mile. The trip was 514.4 miles. 60% of those miles were in the green zone and the remaining were in the terminal zone. Okay, it's now time for everyone's favorite box, the earnings summary box. I had 200.70 empty miles, which paid $112.51. Handling and securement, that's knocking the blocks out or putting the blocks in, paid me $82. Hazmat miles, $20.62. We get paid four cents extra when pulling a hazmat load that's placarded. There was also $1,042.31 for loaded miles and $80 in stop pay. That brings my total gross to $1,337.44. Broken down by the mile, that comes to $65.44 cents per mile. Not too shabby for a second year rookie. It's time to take a look at the second week of the month, which is the 15th week of the year. Let's jump right to the favorite box, that summary box. There was no detention pay. I had $16.10 in empty miles. Again, empty miles pay the same as loaded miles. I just didn't have many of them. Next, we see $100 for layover pay. This is where I was paid for doing a 34-hour reset on the road. Does your company pay you for a 34-hour reset on the road? Then we have the loaded miles, which was $2,381.01. This week included the quarterly safety bonus, which was $362.90. You get one cent per mile, and you have to watch a couple safety videos and, of course, be a safe driver. This week I had two $11 stops and five $20 stops. Again, $11 stops are those in the terminal zone, and $20 stops are those in the green zone. The gross for this weekly compensation was $2,989.51. That comes to $0.70 cents per mile. And the third week of the month was the 16th week of the year. Going straight to the summary box, empty miles, $93.21. Handling and securement, $77.47. Loaded miles, $841.97. At Cheeseman, they're firm believers in getting paid for everything you do. In addition to getting your safety bonus for watching the safety videos and safe driving, you also get paid for one hour's time, $21.50, for watching those videos. This week I had no $11 stops and I had four $20 stops. Notice the one is paid separately. That's because it was a special stop. The load was not able to be put in my trailer, and as a result, the company paid me for having stopped there and attempting to get that load. Gross for this week was $1,114, and that came to $69.7 cents per mile. Call it $0.70 cents per mile. It's time for that fourth and final week of the pay period. This would be week number 17 of the year. All right, we're going to go straight to the summary box, take a look at it. Let's see, we have $280.08 in loaded miles, $5.62 in handling and securement. Obviously, I didn't do a lot of handling and securement. And we have $100 because I did a 34-hour reset. I go home every two weeks, so I will have one reset on the road, and the next reset will be at home. I do not get paid for resets at home. Then we have $1,383.30 for loaded miles, $22 for $11 stops, and five $20 stops for $100. This brings my compensation for the week to $1,891, which is 63.79 cents per mile. Again, not too bad for a second year rookie. Now I need to talk about something that's at the top left of this pay stub. The $1,000 I've got for referral pay on this week's check. Cheeseman pays very well for referrals. $5,000. 
You get that paid in five $1,000 increments at the second month, fourth month, sixth month, ninth month, and 12th month that the driver you referred is driving for the company. The first driver that I referred to the company just hit two months this week, and that's why I got that first increment of $1,000. The people that I've recruited, I talk to quite frequently, and I asked this first person for a quote that I could use in the video, and his quote is, not only is this the best check of my trucking career, but of my life. Now it's time to do the math. This is where we figure out whether or not I'm a six-figure trucker. Remember what I told you. If somebody's trying to recruit you, ignore what they made for this week and look what they've made year to date. All right, we're going to take $31,121.62. We're going to divide that by the number of weeks that have passed in the year, which is 17. We're then going to multiply that by 52 to get what an annualized income will be. Okay, that comes to 95195 Let's add in the 400 I've received of my bonus, the 600 I've received of my bonus, and the 1000 that I received for that referral, and we're at 97195 Just a little bit short of where I need to be for that six-figure trucker. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, and follow, and refer other people to the channel.